And our next topic in our series on thermodynamics is called work done by gas and that has to be one of the biggest topics in thermodynamics, work done by gas. Not so much in a, from a theoretical perspective but from the application perspective, the practical expect, a perspective of thermodynamics. Yes, gases can do work and they can do work by expanding. When gases expand, they push against the container. If they're able to push the container out or some object out, like the piston of a car, you can actually make things happen. You can actually uh, perform work on objects. And so, well, let's explore that in a simplistic case. And the simplistic case is where, in this case, we're going to leave the pressure constant. So the state variables, of course, are pressure, volume, and temperature. So in this case, we're only going to deal with volume and temperature. And uh, uh, here's our example. Let's say we have a piston. Uh, we put a weight on the piston so that it's pushing down against uh, the, uh, the piston here. And um, when we add heat to the gas, the gas absorbs that energy, uses that energy to do work, and pushes the piston up to a new location right there. So we can say that the work done is equal to force times distance and of course what is the force that uh, causes this piston to go up it's the force force caused by the pressure inside the gas and so know by definition that the pressure inside the gas is equal to force divided by the area over which the pressure occurs and of course we have the cross section area of the piston here which means that the work done is equal to the pressure divided by uh, I'm sorry that's not going to be correct uh, let's see here, because I didn't, first of all, let's take this equation and say that therefore the, the force is equal to pressure times area and plug that into our equation right here. So this is equal to the pressure times the area times the distance over which we move it. And so in this case, of course, the distance is why I went from here to there. So we can say that the work done in this case is equal to pressure times area times the height that the piston gained. And of course, the A times the Y, this portion of the equation is equal to the change in the volume. Cross-sectional area times height is the change in the volume, right here, that's for your delta V. And so we can say that the work done by the gas is equal to the pressure times the change in the volume of the gas. And that is the simplistic way of looking at how work is done in the gas. It's simply the pressure of the gas times the change in the volume. Taking into account that in this case the pressure is constant. So if we want to put some units on that, let's say that the cross-sectional area, area is equal to uh, let's say 50 square centimeters and let's say that the pressure P is equal to um, hmm, how about uh, 1.5 atmospheres and let's say that the height gained Y is equal to 10 centimeters. So what is the work done in this particular case? All right, well, first of all, we're going to convert these units to standard units. Atmospheres has to be converted to pascals or newtons per square meter. And of course, centimeters will have to be converted to meters. So the work done in our case here is equal to pressure times the change in the volume. And the pressure is 1.5 atmospheres. And of course, that has to be converted to pascals, which is 101,300 uh, pascals or newtons per square meters uh, per one atmosphere. So maybe I'll just go ahead and write it like that so it makes it a little simpler. So that's pressure changed to newtons per square meter and the change in volume is going to be in this case the cross-sectional area that would be 50 square centimeters which is converted to square meters so we need meters squared here and centimeters uh, one meter is a hundred centimeters and we have to square that and then finally uh, the height it gained a distance of 10 centimeters so that would be 10 centimeters and also that needs to be converted to meters so I have meters and centimeters and there it's uh, one meter is a hundred centimeters we don't have to square that because that's a linear unit now using my calculator let's see what the work done is in this particular case yep so we have 1.5 yeah, that needs that. Okay, so we have 1.5 times 101,300 uh, times 50 divided by 100 squared and then divided by 100 again. And that gives us the work done is equal to 7.6. Now we're the units here. Well, work is the same as uh, joules, so yes, that would be 7.6 joules 
for the work done in this particular case.